So let me ask you, Amisha, because of course, uh, on a day that you announced a new book also, on the, or in London, you're director of the Nehru Centre. What do you say when you see uh, headlines in newspapers or when people uh, in London or in the West and interact with you, ask what's happening in India currently? Is, uh, the, is there a communal divisiveness on the rise in India? What's your answer? Uh, Western media uh, has, uh, I've seen out here, they get it wrong very often from WMDs in Iraq to uh, various things. Eh? And I'm not trying to sound this thing, but they have the blood of millions of Middle Easterners on their hands, Western media. But uh, what we need to do is speak, uh, you know, facts. Now, let me uh, let me get facts on the ground. Like I said, uh, you know, the minority proportion has actually gone up in India as compared to most other countries. If you read the national sample surveys, uh, uh, the average Muslim in Kerala is uh, wealthier uh, than the average Hindu, say, in Bihar. Uh, so actually, India is relatively liberal and people vote with their feet. You know, if India was such a divisive anti-Muslim place, why are Rohingya Muslims uh, from Burma uh, coming to India rather than walking just a little forward and going to Pakistan, which is an Islamic country. It's because actually India is a liberal, decent place. There are extremists. There are 1.4 billion of us. We are a quarter of humanity. Uh, you know, we are more people in India than all of North America, Europe and Middle East combined. So will you find some idiots? Yes. But a vast majority of us are deeply liberal and inclusive. But we the only point I'd like to suggest is that true strength will come when we speak the truth, when we don't hide things of the past. And I would suggest that we frame the debate correctly, that what has happened to us in these invasions, we don't confuse the British Raj with Indian Christians. The main mistake we make is we confuse the Turkic colonial Raj who were foreigners. Very clearly, they were foreigners. We confuse that with Indian Muslims. Indian Muslims were as oppressed under the Turkic colonial rule. 95% of Indian Muslims right. are Paswandas. They were as oppressed under the Turkic colonial rule. We need to frame the debate correctly.